Uh, Niall, let me start with you because unions say that uh, this is all Sinn Féin's fault, that this vote was bulldozed through by Sinn Féin. Why did you want to push this vote through? I think it's important to remember, uh, Shirley, that this was a democratic vote taken by a democratically elected institution, i.e. Belfast City Council. Um, the reason that the decision was made by the majority of elected councillors was that, uh, I suppose, in the current reality, in the current post-peace process and uh, in the midst of uh, a political process, is that Belfast City uh, is a chain city. Uh, it isn't. Uh, the city that ma uh, many of your viewers would remember from their TV screens 10 uh, or 20 years ago. I don't think the, the violence that we've seen is representative of that uh, broadly, the majority of that uh, new Belfast. So there are many different makeups in the city. There are many uh, of us who uh, affirm our allegiance to uh, the Irish nation and our very legitimate and democratic aspirations to have a united Ireland. But of course there are many new traditions and, and many cultures uh, who I think uh, make up uh, a great wealth uh, and benefit to the city of Belfast. So the decision to fly the okay, Union flag, okay, and remember the Union flag will... But the Belfast City Council well, sorry, the leader, flag, the, flag, it's, well, the, the leader of Belfast City Council, uh, Jim McVeigh, uh, Sinn Féin councillor, says, you know, he respects British culture, but if you lead a vote against the Union flag, then it's going to be seen as an attack on British culture. Surely that's an obvious well, thing. Well, well, this, this wasn't a vote against British culture. What this was for uh, was a vote for equality. It was a vote to bring Belfast into the 21st century. Well, and a, a City Hall is the civic heart of Belfast. Not only should it uh, represent all of us, it should also reflect uh, the makeup of Belfast. So the Union flag is flying at Belfast City Hall uh, for designated days. That's, and some is in London, that's currently the, the procedure over Buckingham Palace. It only flies on designated days. Uh, my flag doesn't fly uh, over Belfast. City Hall and the notion that Belfast City Hall yeah, doesn't Belfast reflect City Hall is the in British the United or Kingdom. Unionist tradition it's in is a the United Kingdom, uh, Niall. But, yeah. but of course it's, 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 it's in a part uh, of what you say the United Kingdom which is still contested and which allows democratically and legitimately and p through peaceful, uh, exclusively peaceful means, uh, Republicans uh, to pursue their democratic object okay. objectives uh, and those legitimate objectives. And this, this so look, is about we, creating a city let, let me bring Sammy in because I, I, I can see mm. that he's... Uh, the, the, uh, the CBI in Northern Ireland says uh, jobs will be lost because some investors have already pulled out because of the damaging effect that these protests are having on Northern Ireland's image abroad. So, Niall, uh, Sammy is, is saying that, you know, uh, the fault, the blame for this is because Sinn Féin is not uh, listening to the sensitivities that are uh, existing in Northern Ireland. No, no, well, three points, and, and I actually resent that implication because I don't know if Sammy Wilson has been on the ground or any of his party colleagues have been on the ground in East Belfast to try and proactively uh, prevent and challenge those who would be engaged in this trouble. But I have, uh, and I continue uh, to play my part uh, on the ground at a cross-community level. But Sammy mentioned the issue of the census, and, and Sammy's happy to quote those statistics and those demographics, except, of course, when they relate to Belfast. And the reality is that Belfast is a changed city. And the demographics of Belfast have changed significantly from, uh, I suppose, he was Lord Mayor. Uh, last year when I was Lord Mayor, I was very proud and privileged to preside over a city that could attract things like the MTV European Music Awards, the Titanic Centenary uh, celebrations. This year we'll have the World Police and Fire Games, the second biggest uh, participatory sporting event uh, after the Olympics to be hosted here uh, in Belfast. And that's a good thing, and that's the message that we want to continue uh, to send around the world at Belfast is a better place. Belfast is uh, a chain city, but uh, I mean, you have a camera crew, uh, surely. You, you, you have a camera crew at City Hall. Uh, well, I didn't create the, the trouble, Sammy, and I'm not out on the street protesting at interfaces. Loyalist people are, and loyalist leaders and unionist leaders okay. haven't challenged those people. They haven't you told us the why they're at interfaces. They haven't told us why. No, we didn't create the conditions. The, crea the conditions have been created by the change in you Belfast City. Which, and let's bear in mind, let's bear in mind, Sammy, when you were running about the City Hall telling us Belfast says no. Thankfully, those days are long gone. They're buried in the past, and we have all moved on. And I'd like to think that unionism are, uh, in its right. political manifestation would tell the people on the ground protesting at interfaces and give them some positive leadership, take them uh, into the Belfast of 2013. Now, the reality is this, uh, Julie, you have a camera crew outside Belfast City Hall. I am prepared. Uh, to go down to Belfast City Hall and take you around that City Hall and show you the symbolism, the imagery, the flags that are flown inside that. I am an Irish citizen. I am an Irish Republican. I am, my first language uh, is the Irish language. 
The City Hall, by and large, although we have made some very small, modest pro progress, that City Hall doesn't reflect me and the majority of people like me okay. uh, in Belfast. So well, we have some way to go, and this, this is part and parcel of that. But the key thing is, e is about equality. It's about equality of treatment and reflection and representation for all of our citizens and respecting people who are British and respecting their tradition here, but also respecting those of us who are Irish and those of us who are neither. OK, gentlemen, let me bring in some uh, reaction that we've had to this, um, this subject on our Facebook page. Uh, Khan Oron says sectarianism and sectarian violence were never gone. They will not end until a full British withdrawal and the establishment of a new political system in Ireland. Uh, Clint Derry says these British planters don't belong in Ireland. It's now time to face reality and leave. The Irish nat natives have spoken. Ireland for the Irish. And Ruari Magorian says nationalists in the north are no longer second-class citizens. That's what unionists and loyalists hate. We will never go back to the days of unionist dominance and oppression.